I'm going to go through my newest Ibanez, the RGAIX7U Iron Label, and I'll explain why I think this guitar was such an integral part of what Malakota is doing sound-wise. The first thing to note on this bad boy are the aesthetics. I've never been one for super flashy guitars, and honestly, that's what's turned me off of a lot of Ibanez guitars in the past. I'm happy now to say that a lot of their newer models have a more diverse spectrum of visual aesthetics. The ash body, yes, it is ash, not basswood, thank goodness, looks absolutely badass with the white trim. It reminds me of the floor in the studio, and it has this real rustic look to it. It's modern yet vintage looking. The neck, on the other hand, is a Nitro Wizard 7 neck, three piece maple and purple heart with an ebony fretboard with jumbo frets. I've had seven string guitars in the past and this is the most comfortable seven string neck I think I've ever played. The pickups, are probably one of my favorite things about this guitar, and they are bare knuckle pickups. I believe they are bare knuckle aftermaths. Bare knuckle pickups are something that I've tried to justify getting for years, but I've always been happy with what I've had in my guitars. So having them as a stock pickup for this guitar is a dream. Not only do they look cool with the custom scratch etching that they have, but they sound ridiculous. They are really dark pickups, but they're also super tight sounding. This thing is a rhythm machine. There's no doubt about that. However, it does have this neat coil tap, which does allow for some tone experimentation. There's no tone knob on this bad boy, <laughs> just a volume knob. The pickup selector and the coil tap are your only means of changing the tone on the guitar. That said, I don't think it matters in this guitar's case because this thing sounds so cool and has a lot of character on its own. Goto locking machine heads are a no-brainer choice for this kind of guitar. All the hardware is this slick black and the luminescent side dot inlays allow for uh, the rest of the ebony fretboard to match the rest of your black hardware without breaking it up aesthetically. But how does this bad boy sound?
Now the RGAIX7U, I never get tired of saying that, will set you back around $1,700 Canadian at Long & McQuaid. There's a few other guitars that Ibanez has out right now that are really worth looking at, but I really think they've stepped up their game on their seven string guitars as far as the aesthetics and the pickup choice goes. That's all I've got to say about Ibanez guitars. Please hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell to keep in the loop whenever we drop a new video in this series. Leave a comment if you have any questions or anything to say, I'd love to hear it. All relevant to links to everything we talked about in this video are in the description. The band shirt I'm wearing in this video is from an awesome band from the States called Dire Peril. Check them out. This is Lucas signing off.